some of my plants aren't looking their best. I tend to forget about house plants over winter. Some of them survive really well. And some of them, like this one, and this one, do not. So I need to give this some TLC when I come back from my walk today. This one I have high hopes for because I resurrected it last year as well. Um, this one survived pretty well. Um, it's got a few brown leaves, but I did water them all about a week ago. So some of them, I think this one is, I put some more water in this one. This one likes to sit in water. This is, I think, called the maiden hair fern. And I hadn't watered it really all winter. The oxalis, I need to, yeah, take some of these dead uh, leaves off. So sad looking, isn't it? But there is new ones growing, so it's not like totally dead. Um, I think it will come good again. So just have to remember to look after them. I think it's when they're not in the growing season. I don't know, I just kind of forget that they're there, forget to look after them and then they just become really sad looking. I'm just getting ready to head out for a big walk today. The weather is really amazing, it's so bright. Um, it hasn't been like this in so long and it really gives my middle lift to go out and enjoy it. Rufus is getting very impatient, he's starting to woof at me. I've made a packed lunch and I've got some water and yeah I'm ready to go so I hope you enjoy this little trip with me. Are you getting ready to go? <coughs> Are you getting impatient? <coughs> right come on. Good boy. Okay. The wind was so crazy that um, you can't really hear what I'm saying in this clip so I'm basically trying to decide if I should go um, a walk um, kind of over the cliffs to the beach or doing um, more of a cliff walk to the Giant's Causeway so that's what's happening here.
I'm just talking about the gorse here and how good it smells and all its different names here. Some people call it gorse, some people call it wind, some people call it a wombush, depending on where you're from. And it just creates the most amazing smell in late spring, early summer. Um, it hasn't really reached its full fragrance yet, but it's so nice. I love to take a little bit and smell it when I go past. Um, it's also really good for dyeing. just had my lunch at this point and I am just deciding um, that I don't want to go any further because Rufus is kind of pulling a bit and also um, there's quite a lot of sheep so when he sees the sheep he goes kind of crazy like he's obviously on a lead and stuff but um, still he becomes a little crazy and out of control so um, yeah I just at this point decided to eat my lunch and then turn back um, because I had already probably walked about three and a half miles and it was going to be three and a half back again. And, um, yeah, I just didn't fancy walking any further. Um, the bit that the sheep was on was a kind of mucky bit. So if Rufus had decided to pull me then, I may have fallen over. So that's kind of the reason why I decided to turn back. Um, I'm probably at this point about two miles or so from the car um in total the walk ended up being seven and a half miles so that's quite long and um and then yeah I was chatting a little bit about my knitting and how I'm not really enjoying it that much and I think it's probably because um I'm trying to design stuff and I'm not really loving that whole process so um I'm just saying that I might show you what I'm working on and yeah show you how it's going back home now I'm thinking about getting a wee cup of tea and maybe something sweet I might either make some pancakes and have berries with them or I might have square of chocolate but anyway I thought I would show you how the garden looks right now because it looks pretty different than it did a few weeks ago and uh, we have raised beds up we the greenhouse is about to go in Im imminently in the next couple of weeks so I'll just show you how it looks and what flowers and stuff are coming out Daffodils, some primroses and a wee hyacinth there. It's coming out over here. Loads of bulbs. I planted loads of bulbs. See, loads and loads of tulip bulbs. I went for a uh, brownie, and also planted some daffodils, which are Cornish Nivis. Um, the pollen area is out nicely. The delphinium's coming back. Even the keel is growing. So, this wall is for the greenhouse. And the hellebores are out. They always look nice. So 
so yeah it's a bit of a work in progress but we need to line this one and this one and fill them up then we need to gravel all of this we need to pave this area and then the greenhouse goes in here so i'm not entirely sure what i'd like to put in the greenhouse i'm thinking maybe tomatoes and i think what it would be really useful for is like basically starting stuff off because we have such a short growing season here um but if you have any good ideas for things that would grow here i think in the raised beds one will be potatoes one will be peas and i'm not sure what else i'm gonna have to do a little bit of research i did buy some seeds so i think i bought cucumbers for the greenhouse and maybe courgettes so we'll see how that goes um but yeah if you have any nice ideas let me know I actually decided to get my patchwork quilt out today. It looks really crumpled up. It's been folded for quite some time, but I'm just going to continue with it. Um, it's not something that usually fills me with excitement, hand stitching a quilt, but I thought, well, I'll do one strip on it and then that's one more done. Maybe in 20 years I'll have it finished. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think like I really like the look of the hand stitched quilt. It's just the actual stitching. I don't really like hand stitching. So yeah, we'll see how long this lasts. I'd say maybe an hour. <laughs> Today I stitched from here to here and I totally feel like I'm done. Like, oh. I do not like hand stitching. I don't know how I'm ever going to get this finished. One of the reasons why I started hand stitching it is because I didn't have a walk-in foot for my sewing machine and I was my sewing machine is a little bit temperamental sometimes, it just gobbles things up. Um, and I, yeah, I tried to borrow a walking foot off my sister-in-law, but it didn't fit. Um, I didn't really want to buy one because I just thought, uh, don't really, I'm not really that into sewing. So, yeah, I'm not loving this, so I don't know whether I should just bite the bullet and buy a walking foot. Um, it'll probably cost like 30 quid. Um, it would mean that I can get this finished pretty quick and painlessly. Um, and just, yeah, I don't think I'd bother ripping out the hand stitch bits. I'd probably just keep those in and then start quilting with the walking foot as well. Um, there's just going to be so many lines of stitching and the problem with this is because it's folded up every time it comes out like quite crumpled. So yeah, let's just say I'm not a quilter. <laughs> oh, I don't really like sewing but I like having the finished items feels very much like very work worky to me like having to sit at a sewing machine rather than being able to just like chill wherever you want and like knit so what am I gonna do everybody does anyone out there want to do this for me <laughs> I bet there's someone out there that loves quilting but that person is not me. <laughs> oh, that's just so painful. I do have a thimble somewhere as well, but I just find it so awkward that I couldn't wear it. Um, so 
yeah, that's not really not too helpful. Oh, my stitching's getting really bad. Wait till you see this. Look at that. What is that stitch? And again, what's that stitch? This is so not happening today. I thought it was happening, but it's not. So I'm going to put this away. <laughs> and I'm going to um, edit this video and put it up for you. So hope you enjoyed that. And any tips on the quilt, let me know. I was reading yesterday's comments about the Scrabble. So, so many ideas for the Scrabble. I couldn't believe it. Some of the words I thought were kind of questionable. Some were in other languages, definitely, which would not be allowed in this house. <laughs> um, but there was a few good words that I definitely could have used. However, we did end up finishing the game last night. It was still quite slow, but I just finished and lost really badly. So <laughs> um, hopefully my next game I can... Um, win that one um if only i could put you all in a hotline you could tell me what um words to put in that would be great <laughs> just finished editing this is my final clip i'm now going to upload this to youtube i hope you enjoyed this little vlog today and i hope you join me again another day